Okay, now I am showing you the Power Lead system, and I'm going to show you how to connect your AWIPR account to your Power Lead system. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, there is a limit to how many people you can send through uh, the Power Lead system before you you know you hit that limit, then you got to pay for more, which is one issue. The other issue is um, it does not have as good a deliverability as AWIPR, and your ability to modify the uh, email. Is, is somewhat limited by their structure. So they will allow you to um, literally take and connect your landing page that's created in PLS to your Aweber account. I want to show you how to do that. First thing you do is you go into login right here. And you got to actually connect your account up itself. So underneath accounts my business Aweber settings you will have to set up your options here set my option up to use this default Aweber list name now what is a Aweber list ID I'm going to show you come over here go to list option well, you pick your list that you want your leads to go into let's say if I want them to go into demo on Aweber so I, I select that there, and actually you don't need to do that, but if you go here to list settings, you, this right here is your list ID. So yeah, you, you go on your list, you go to list options, list settings, you copy that, and you paste it here, and you hit next step. Now. I don't necessarily want everything I do to go to Aweber, so I set my option up to go set my opt-in list not to use Aweber, but to ask me each time I'm setting up a domain or subdomain. So let me show you what that means. So I'm going to go over to uh, subdomains. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create a new website. A capture page, I mean. Once it's, that I've already got set up. And I'm going to pick a subdomain that I already have established. Let me just do custom. And <clears throat> custom is going to have, uh, you know, I'm just going to pick one of these LL360 landing pages. Scroll to the bottom. I have way too many share codes. And here, is where I could tell it to continue to skip a Weber or take anyone that comes into this fun funnel and go into that a Weber share code that I just got not share code but the list ID and hit submit so anyone going into this will now go to this particular a Weber list demo on a Weber now it's very important that you're able to set your your uh, list up a single opt-in or you're going to miss out 99% of your leads. So now if I was to drive traffic to this domain I'm already on multiple lists. It's going to end up here in the new. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just made. I gotta shut this gal up. Now, don't freak out if your new lead doesn't show up immediately. Um, sometimes it, it will take a little while before they actually show up in your Aweber account. But believe me, I'm in there, and that's that's really all there is to to connecting your Aweber up with your um, Power Lead system. You either pick each list to send it to a different list here, which is what I do if I want to set that up, or uh, you pick uh, one default uh, list for all new leads to come into to go to Aweber into one thing. So that doesn't matter 
which landing page you pick at, at the Paralete system, they'll go into the same thing. So you either select it case by case, or you can set it up to where it always goes in, no matter which form you use, set it to always go here. And that's it. It's, it's really quite easy to do. Uh, it, it may seem complex, but um, you just set it up so that you can have the option of using Aweber or not. And uh, then you can move forward. Now, we, you can also take your your content, your emails and stuff out of PowerLead system and, and, and copy and paste them and add them into your Aweber form. And I'll show you how to do that in another video.